Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kingdom, I'm the Duke, also known as Duke and we are back in Valheim as we continue building our first town. Uh, now, the previous episode we started building this lumberjack and his workshop right on top. And uh, we're going to continue with that and uh, see how far we can get with the town. Maybe start with the next project as well uh, inside this town. So first things first, I'm going to try and um, work some of this dirt away. And there. Now, this is where I'm going to create a space for the locks. I think that, that will do. And um, let's fill in those spaces. There we go. Okay. Now I also wanted to plant some trees. I think the seed is downstairs. So thank you for joining me, hope you enjoyed this town build. Uh, we finally started with that, something different, something new. We've got most of our base done, we've also got um, all of the biomes unlocked. And uh, I think it's time we got uh, to building a little bit more. So that's what this series is about. Um, I'm seeing some... raspberries over here. Maybe I can incorporate them into the bolt. Uh, but for now... Yeah, let's plant two bird saplings. It's, it has to be pretty close to the house. Let's say about there. And maybe there. There we go. So as soon as they are full grown, we can actually chop them down, leave the stumps behind, and then roll the locks into this space right here. I think that's going to work very nicely indeed. Okay. So, turning our attention to the inside, we need to get some furniture in here. Um, yeah, let's take all of that and see what we can do. So, in terms of furniture, uh, not a lot available actually. We've got a small table that we can maybe use. Uh, we need to try and get a kitchen in here as well. So maybe this can be the kitchen area. So let's bring this up slightly. I think that will do. And then we're going to place these. Underneath. Just like that. Holding a shift, of course, just to allow me to get in underneath. That one does not want to fit in. Yeah. This one also does not want to fit. Alright, so for them, let's see if we can get a different snapping point. There we go. And the same on this side. There 
we go. I think that's a very nice fire pit. Just like that. Now in terms of the smoke, probably gonna have to try and do something about that. Uh, let's break up that wall right over there. I'm going to... Let's see... Uh, maybe that one. Is that catching the smoke or not? Try the steeper one. See if that makes a difference. Okay, so it's not catching the smoke. I'm probably going to have to try and move the fire maybe over there, and uh, that might be a better option, I think. Um, otherwise, let's see if I take this one and maybe stack two of them. Nope. Okay. So let's break down the fire. I think I'm probably going to have to move this over that way. Need to raise the ground here. That will do. Try and get this underneath. Yeah, that looks good. Let's replace this one. And replace the fire as well. That should now work. Uh, well, this is a lumberjack, so maybe we should uh, replace that with wood. Which we don't have. Uh, it's on, I think it's on the other hammer. Uh, that's the normal floors. We're in around 26 and 45. There we go. I'm not sure if it's working yet. Go outside, have a look. Yeah, smoke is coming out on this side. So what I'm going to try and do now is actually see if I can continue sort of a chimney. I'm probably going to have to use Odin's hammer again for this. There we go. We got ourselves a chimney. 
Uh, I'm wondering if I should actually maybe build it a little bit higher. Maybe just. Yeah, that maybe works a little bit better. Okay, so chimney done. Uh, let's continue on the inside. So this is the kitchen area. We can probably put down a table. Uh, what kind of tables do we have with Odin's? Oh, that's a lot bigger. Maybe too big for this space? Maybe, maybe not. Let's put it maybe over on this side. There we go, we can have a couple of chairs as well. Okay. And I was thinking maybe something like this. For lighting over on that side and on this side, let's go with a simple chair as a bed stand. You can place some candles on top of it. There we go. Uh, we can also build a keg. Um, probably going to need a table or something for that as well. Oh, we need nails. That's too small anyway. That's too small. What options do we have? Over on this side. Oh, this could work. Let's place that one over there. We're going to place a kick on top of that. And I'm not sure there's anything else. Uh, what we might also do is do we have enough resources for this? Oh, we need a forge. That's a pity. That is a pity. I don't think we can build a forge at the moment. Yeah, we need more copper and stone. I should probably keep a forge close by. That might be wise. And we are being raided. Give me a moment. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Let me get fire potion in. Oh, I'm going to die. I am so going to die.
much. What a fight, I almost died a couple of times and I had to take my time just to get through this. I was not prepared for a raid of this magnitude. Um, wow, and ouch. But at least I did not die, I think that is a miracle in itself. And a lot of trophies that I can pick up. 
Now, I did make this more difficult for myself because, um, yeah, I've got that mob that increased the drops by two. And that includes this boss when he, uh, when you kill the big guy. He drops the two smaller enemies which just bombard you with knockback fires as you can see that they've been dealt with. Now, what is the damage? We're gonna have a look at that uh, real soon. Let me just pick up everything they've dropped. Hope the boat is still alright. It might have been hit by a couple of fireballs. Okay, let's see. Repair. That is still fine. That's also fine. Yeah, slight damage here and there. Okay, I'm going to go through everything, repair it, and then I'll bring you back as we continue building. Okay, so we went through everything, it's repaired now. And uh, we can continue our build. Got two finger trophies, four Zul trophies, two fueling trophies, 21 black metal scraps. I must say, it looks different from what it used to look. So they've most definitely changed the icon, that's for sure. 118, uh, 140 coins. So that is a lot. Let's put that away. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that took a lot of my recording time. Um, but I'm probably going to keep it in because it was a truly interesting fight. Of me running around and trying to get them one by one. Waiting for bone mass. Waiting for my potions. Man, I can still feel the adrenaline pumping. Okay. Anyways, back to building. We've got the lumberjack here. And we also got a couple of other buildings that we're going to try and build. Including maybe a temple. Maybe. Um, but we also want to build maybe an inn or let's say a meat hall. Uh, maybe we should do that right here in the middle of town. Now we need to try and figure out what we're going to do in terms of roads. Um, yeah, level the ground a little bit there. Maybe that as well. And then the other one to just for now put the grass back until we have figured out what we want to do in terms of roads um, it's also getting dark so it's going to be the end of the day real quick and uh, yeah let's at least try the, the planning phase for the next building um, Yeah, let's go for an inn. Let's stay with the inn. Um, I'm going to try and keep the style in terms of the roof, as you can see there, maybe. And uh, we've got not a flat area here, so we'd, it might actually be a multi-tiered inn. Almost something that I have did in my Conan Exiles build uh, in a previous series. Uh, speaking of which, uh, my Conan Exiles is coming back. I actually managed to get back in the game just before the new Age of Heroes update, so we will continue that uh, probably next week. All right, but first things first, let's get to the planning here. Uh, don't I have any wood? I don't have a workbench. Okay. 
let's get to a little bit of planning over here. Uh, probably we're going to have the entrance in this area. I think the snap point is not correct there. Let me see. There we go. Okay. So you're going to enter the in from this side and what I'm thinking of is maybe have one or two rooms in the upper area and then in the lower area this way maybe uh, a place to eat, drink. I think that could work. And then maybe the center area is where the reception is basically. Uh, it sounds fancy, but uh, yeah, that's something that would make sense for me. I think three. Maybe we should make it four. Yeah, let's go with four. So you have your entrance, you have a counter there for the reception and then this way we'll go to maybe one or two rooms and then as I said this way. Now how broad do we want this? One. Oh, they're all facing the wrong way. Too wide. Yeah, let's stick with that. Play some support. And it is getting a little bit dark, so there we go. And when you come in, you're going to have to have stairs leading down. How far down can we go before we run into the ground here? Uh, that could work. Just need to remove the grass. And then of course we want... We don't want the ground to actually stick out underneath, so... Uh, yeah, let's remove the grass first. That's going to be easier. Okay, that should do it. Uh, let's see if we can snap it with a different corner down there. Apparently not. Apparently not. Going to pull it up like that. Same on this side. It always rains when I build. There we go. Yeah, I think that could work. We also probably want the bigger doorways right here at the entrance. And maybe some sort of windows. Next to the doors. Uh, not balls. 
I did not know that we have a lock balls. That's interesting. Well, the angle is not right. Well, we need COVID. Oh, that could look awesome. Anyways. Uh, continuing right here let's close off the back here okay so now we have the reception area we've got some stairs going up to the rooms this off slightly maybe the same over on this side good and then we can also have in terms of the roof uh, the same style is the lumberjack. Uh, let me see if I can get this up there. But unfortunately that is all the time that we have for today. Uh, I was hoping to do a lot more building but then we got raided and that was a massive big fight so yeah I hope that was uh, more fun for you than it was stressful for me. But uh, looking forward to the next episode when we are going to continue our inn. Uh, I think it's going to look awesome when it is done the inn particular. It's just something that I came up with for the moment. We will see how that works and goes. But uh, thank you for joining me in this episode. Hope you like it. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We always need to remember people of those things. Otherwise I forget. Hope you see you in the next one. And until then, enjoy.